he's your go-to man. When he was bowling, you kind of felt there was real ownership of the moment there from, from Warren. Strategically and tactically, a gifted man, a gifted cricketer. Wherever he went, there was always so much hype and so much attention, and he just lapped it up. He wanted the big stage, he wanted to perform and, and show the world how good he was. He realised that cricket and being out on a cricket ground like here at Lords, you are centre stage and you are trying to entertain people. I think cricket needed Shane Warne. You just couldn't dominate him. It didn't matter if I took one wicket or, or 40. I didn't like losing. When he was bowling, you kind of felt there was real ownership of the moment from Warne. Watching a spell from Shane Warne, you got your money's worth. He was the unfinished product when he first played in the cricket for Australia. So it was just a matter of um, learning. I thought to myself, uh, I just hope they persevere with him a bit because all spinners need a bit of tender love and care and they need support from their captain but they also need support from the selectors. When he finished up bowling Australia to victory in the second innings, uh, I think that was probably the most crucial thing in, in, in Shane Warne starting to really believe in himself. He grew an extra leg from that point and probably that was the, the turning point for him. He came on the scene really as far as English cricketers were concerned with this famous ball of the century. First ball in test cricket in England for Shane Warne. And he's done it. Started off with the most beautiful delivery. Gadding has absolutely no idea what has happened to it. He still doesn't know. Warren was this uh, new, new national hero. People wanted to know more about who is this bloke. I still remember the sliding flipper that just ran along the ground for Richie Richardson's wicket. Um, that seven for in Melbourne, uh, he, he never looked back. And then, you know, from then on, if you were going to get on top of Shane Warne, you had your hands full. Six down for 91. Warne continuing. Oh, oh and they hit the pad. Yes, he's got him. That's our RBW. That hit the pad, and that is the end of the Freitas. Oh, and that's out. Caught behind. Yes, he's got him. Back ball. Beautifully bowled by Warne. There we go. Fleming took the last one. Merv used before him.
straight to Andrew Simons, and that will be a five-wicket haul while bowled Shane Warne. Wonderful performance by this brilliant Australian team. The great team will leave the field of play, led by a remarkable cricketer. I think my journey and my uh, my ride in international cricket has been uh, phenomenal. I don't think I could have written my script any better. I don't think I could have given any more to cricket. He was still getting the very best players out at the back end of his career. And he, he just decided that, well, he must have been 38 or so, that's enough. <laughs>